The levator palpebri superioris, Latin for, elevating muscle of upper eyelid, is the muscle in the orbit that elevates the superior, upper, eyelid. Structure The levator palpebri superioris originates on the lesser wing of the sphenoid bone, just above the optic foramen. It broadens and decreases in thickness, becomes thinner, and becomes the levator aponeurosis. This portion inserts on the skin of the upper eyelid, as well as the superior tarsal plate. It is a skeletal muscle. The superior tarsal muscle, a smooth muscle, is attached to the levator palpebri superioris, and inserts on the superior tarsal plate as well. Nerve Supply As with most of the muscles of the orbit, the levator palpebri receives somatic motor input from the ipsilateral superior division of the oculomotor nerve. An adjoining smooth muscle, the superior tarsal muscle, which is occasionally confused to be a portion of the levator palpebri superioris, is actually only attached, and it is separately innervated by sympathetic fibers that originate in the cervical spinal cord. Function The levator palpebri superioris muscle elevates and retracts the upper eyelid. Clinical Significance Damage to this muscle or its innervation can cause ptosis which is drooping of the eyelid. Lesions in CN3 can cause ptosis because without stimulation from the oculomotor nerve, the levator palpebri cannot oppose the force of gravity, and the eyelid droops. Ptosis can also result from damage to the adjoining superior tarsal muscle or its sympathetic innervation. Such damage to the sympathetic supply occurs in Horner's syndrome, and presents as a partial ptosis. It is important to distinguish between these two very different causes of ptosis. This can usually be done clinically without issue, as each type of ptosis is accompanied by other distinct clinical findings. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.